What's up everyone? This is Josh Nordic with Mountain Fit. And today I wanted to chat a little bit about something called H or HRV, heart rate variability. And it's the, to me, people track a lot of data, um, a lot of numbers and fitness. And I think it's the absolutely number one thing that everybody should be tracking. And basically how it works is you need some kind of a heart rate monitor like this. And this is the Polar H7. I highly recommend it. Um, and what it's gonna do, heart rate variability is actually the variability of the time between your heartbeats. Um, and this is gonna tell you a whole world of information because it's measuring um, your nervous system's performance basically. So it's gonna tell you how well you recovered you are. Um, there's kind of this breakdown between parasympathetic nervous system and the sympathetic nervous system. And the parasympathetic is the rest and digest. It's what's more heavily active when you're in a, in a restful state, you're relaxing, you're just laying down, you're sleeping, recovering. And the sympathetic is, on the other hand, it's fight or flight. So it's what's coming on when you're training, when you're working, when you're drinking coffee or some kind of other stimulant. And the key to you know getting the absolute best results in any kind of a training routine, uh, in your lifestyle in general at work, is walking a fine line with a balance between these two things. It's kind of that, it's like the duality between like the yin and the yang symbol and all those things. If you're always in the sympathetic state, you're gonna burn yourself out, you're gonna get injured, you're gonna be really tired, you're gonna need stimulants like caffeine and pre-workouts and all that stuff just to perform. Um, and if you're always in this, either side on this parasympathetic rest and digest state, you're gonna end up depressed, you're gonna not get any good performance because you're not providing your body the stimulus to adapt. So the key is to go in the sympathetic, provide a stimulus to adapt, get back to parasympathetic rest and digest, let your body recover. When you're recovered, bounce back, new stimulus, recover. And a lot of people see like the grind, 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 hustle, hustle, hustle. And they wanna stay in this sympathetic state all the time. They wanna be working hard, they wanna be drinking caffeine, they wanna be working all day. And the problem with this, if you're not eating properly, you're not getting enough recovery, is that you're just not going to recover and you're not gonna get any results. So I know a ton of people, I've had a lot of people come to me that you know, work their asses off, work really, really hard, and they're just not getting any results. And it's basically because they're just not recovering. So there's a, a thing called allostatic load. And what allostatic load is, it's, it's your overall stress levels. So if you imagine your stress being, you know, like a, a cup of water, right? So your allostatic load goes in there, so it's your training would go in there, your work schedule would go in there, your family stress would go in there, uh, your emotional stuff would go in there. Everything's going into the same cup. It's all allostatic stress load. So what happens is if you're having a really busy work schedule um, and a really busy, you know, some things going on emotionally, maybe a breakup, maybe you're fighting with your parents or you're fighting with your brother, or you're fighting with a friend, all these things are going into the same cup. And then if you're also training really hard for two hours a day every day, that's all going in there too and your cup starts to overflow. And when you're overflowing, you're not recovering. And you're putting yourself at a, at a, in a huge stressed out situation where you can get hurt or you can get sick or you'll be really short on your temper and you're gonna you know, make bad decisions overall. So the key is what the, what the HRV is gonna tell you is you're gonna track it for four or five days. Every morning you get, on, you get up, you put this on for three minutes, you, there's an app on your phone, you just click it, it tests your HRV score, and it gives you a number. And you're gonna develop a baseline over four or five days. And then after that, when the number is lower, so my HRV is typically around 80. So I know if my HRV gets down to low 70s or below, it means I'm super stressed out, I shouldn't be training with high intensity that day at all. And that doesn't actually happen very frequently for me, because typically I break up my, I'm not gonna get into that, that's a little bit more detail than we need to get into for this video. But if it gets down below 70 or below 75, I know that I need to kind of take an easy day and maybe just do some like aerobic work where I'm going for, you know, maybe a weighted hike or maybe doing a little bit of core work and some mobility. Um, and if I'm right on, if I'm right on 80, it means I can go to the gym, I can crush it, high intensity workout, do all that stuff and be good the next day as well. So the key is measuring that number every day and it's, it's, it's a key to teaching you how to listen to your body. Um, and this is going to get you the best results as well. So it's not just um, about feeling good. It's also about getting the best results possible. So it's called the Polar H7. I highly recommend it. Um, I'd be happy to chat more about HRV. I could talk about this for an hour really easily. Um, so if anybody has any questions, feel free to comment on below and let me know.